Good morning, my name is Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and welcome to a day in the life of a virtual music teacher. So today is Monday and tonight is another board meeting to decide if we're going to switch to hybrid learning in two weeks or if we're going to maintain virtual learning. They were supposed to decide that last week but they decided they didn't have enough data so they postponed the meeting till this week so we're going to find out. And I have a feeling we're going to go back to hybrid but I guess who knows because I thought they were going to make a decision last week and they didn't so I don't really have any kind of clue what's going to go on But I do have something exciting and that is that I got a new school laptop My laptop had just been sent to get fixed Like the week that everything shut down So I've been using a sub laptop for this portion of the year and I got my laptop back and they just upgraded it Which is really really exciting so i'm gonna go play with that now it's actually a little bit later now i've got billy out for his daily socialization with me i found this scarf it was like an emergency scarf i kept in my closet for school for when i have to do morning duty and like wasn't prepared enough and it's nice and comfy for him i was like gonna go on amazon and order a baby blanket and i'm like well this is perfect it's like the right size he can grow into it it's fabulous but i just had third grade and we started our unit on the instruments today most of it is a review but there are a few new students um so some of them it was new most of it it was a review for them but i'm excited because if the board decides tonight that we'll be going back to a hybrid model then we'll have two weeks to work on the instruments and then on week three we will be able to play instruments in class so that'll be really really awesome and at this point i'm kind of hoping they put us back to the hybrid model i don't know i don't know i can't make a decision of what i prefer but as long as it's safe i feel okay with it we'll only have about 10 kids per class and in my room we'll have tons of space so no one should be even close to six feet so I don't know. We'll see what they decide today, but Billy and I would love to have students here, right, Billy? Billy's like, don't speak for me. I'm fine not having students, but I am going to get some work done while I hang out with Billy before I eat lunch, but let me show you how the lesson was set up today. I'm actually going to rearrange how I did it, so I'll show you how I'm going to rearrange it. So we're on Quaver, and we've started with the instrument families reviewing that there, oh, my camera is slowly falling. Hold on. We start with instruments in the air orchestra. They love that song. Then I want to do match the clue to the instrument because that's what I did next with them. Then we did string into action. There we go. Yeah, that's better because the, so it looks like this. Sorry, I'm not really, I'm not doing well with speaking today. I kept saying things like backwards to the kids. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So instrument families, I talked about how there's four families. They try to remember what the name of these instruments are. We go through all that and each of them like plays a little selection. It's just take my word for it, it plays, but I don't feel like turning the volume up. Um, then we listen to the air orchestra song and we do like um, imitation of playing the instruments like in the air air orchestra haha -ha. then match the clue to the instrument each of these plays a sound this is a trumpet this is a drum this is a violin and this is a flute but the bird is like a little trick then the string into action song to learn the name of the four main string instrument in an orchestra then we did not get to this. This is where we'll start tomorrow. This is the same thing, the string into action song, but with a live performance. Then which instrument am I with the four strings only? Then we will play instrument cranes. This is a whole week of lessons, by the way. So where does the oboe go? It's a woodwind. Great. Then the percussion family episode, which is so fun. Then match the clue of the instrument again. Some of these are helpful. Some of these are not so much. Then the brass family episode. Match the clue to the instrument again gets harder each time the woodwind family episode the woodwind family quiz name the instrument and that's all i have for this week and potentially part of next week so that's the plan for third grade kindergarten and first is pretty similar let me pull it up now because that's what i'm going to teach next anyways so they are doing wait where did i put the i guess i didn't build it into the cane one lesson yet so let me do that now I must have done it in the wrong folder because I remember doing it, but I don't even feel like looking for it. I'll just figure it out. Instruments. Instrument families. That's what I want. Just had lunch with my team, which was so 
good to talk to humans <laughs> and just get to chat for a little bit. But now it's time to get ready to teach first grade and kindergarten. I'm pretty tired today. I don't really know why. I got a good amount of sleep, but I had trouble waking up and then I've just been really tired all day. Maybe I'll take a nap when I get home. I have two calls to host tonight for my second job, for my coaching job, but maybe I'll have time to nap before Brandon gets home from work and before we eat dinner. That would be superb. I love a good nap. The camera on this new computer is really strange. Like it's pretty clear, but it's really light and it almost looks like there's a filter on it. Let me show you. Time to teach. So we are learning about one of my all time favorite things you will ever learn in music ever in your whole lives, which is the instruments. I love learning about the instruments and today there is a big school meeting and at the school meeting, they're gonna decide if you guys are coming back to the building for school or if you're gonna stay online. And if we do come back to the building for school, maybe you're gonna get to play some of these instruments in music class. So I guess we will have to see what they decide. But we need to learn about our instruments so that one day when we have music class in person, Person in the music room then we will know all about the instruments that we are gonna play so I'm very very excited let's get started so everybody has a family but everybody's family looks different some families have a mom some families have a dad some have a brother some have a sister some have an aunt or an uncle or a cousin or a grandma or a grandpa or a family friend who lives with you and that's your family to everybody has some kind of family and so do the instrument the instruments have families just like we do so these are the four instrument families this is the woodwinds This is the percussion family. This is the strings family. And last but not least, the brass family. So all of these families have instruments in them. Does anybody know the name of any of our woodwind instruments up here? We have the piccolo. We have the clarinet. We have the oboe and we have the bassoon. If anybody has ever watched SpongeBob before, Squidward in SpongeBob plays the clarinet. So Squidward plays a woodwind instrument. Let me see you playing your woodwind instrument. Here we go. Good. Does anybody know the name of any of these percussion instruments? Look at these percussion instruments. Do any of you know their names? Do you know one? What's the name of one? Like a drum to me. Yes, a drum is a percussion instrument. Good job. He said one. The ukulele, that is one. Good job. There is the harp and there's the v violin. Violin. There is a trumpet. Okay, teaching about the instruments <laughs> through a computer is like so lame, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I would much rather prefer to teach them about the instruments in person where, you know, I actually have instruments. Um, they're still, their attention was pretty good today. Attendance was better than it was last week, so that's exciting. But yeah, the lessons all went well. It's just like, <laughs> I had to keep my energy on like a thousand because I feel like otherwise it's so boring. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. That's definitely a lesson I would like to teach in person. But who knows, our board is voting tonight. Maybe we will be back in person in a couple weeks. If they vote yes, then I will have, I think I'll have K to two the week of the 5th, October 5th, and then I'll have everybody the next week. So like one week I'll be half, I'll be in, online in the mornings and not in the afternoon, which is kind of strange, but that'll be an interesting week if that happens. I am pretty much done for the day. I'm giving my fifth and second grade students a few more minutes to submit their asynchronous work because on asynchronous days, I let them submit things till the end of the school day versus like just in their class period time. Cause I'm nice like that. No, just 
I feel like that's the right thing to do. I don't know. What do I know? Who knows how much longer we'll be doing this. I'm really interested to see how the board meeting goes, honestly. But since I'm pretty much done for today, I'm gonna pack up my stuff so that I can leave right on time because Friday I left like kind of late and I don't want that to become a habit. So I wanna be ready to go as soon as I can. So if you've watched this whole video, be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if it was entertaining or distracted you. And that helps it reach more teachers. It helps with the algorithm and all of those YouTube-y things. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are.